Welcome back to the Traders Network Show, broadcasting worldwide from Davos, Switzerland. I'm your host, Matt Bird. We're here at the 2020 World Economic Forum. And my next guest is Jonas Rubel. He is the co-founder of Liquidity. And that is my WhatsApp going off. <laughs> Jonas, welcome to the show. Hey. Uh, so liquidity team, sports tokenization, fan management, um, fan engagement. Um, tell us a little bit about what, what you're doing there. Well, so basically we offer professional sports teams and athletes to issue tokens. And they can be used to either raise capital or increase the fan engagement. Ideally, they can do both, um, which is a pretty common practice among German teams. Over the last couple of years, several of them have issued a bond. Um, that fan sign and uh, just the most recent one was the hamburger SV that gave out a bond over 17.5 million that was signed within one day by its fans but then people basically just get a paper certificate that they put on their wall um, and not much more when they issue a security token then you can put into those tokens additional features like voting rights you can give discounts on tickets discount on merch so there's a lot of there's a huge option space that you can explore and it's basically up to the club to decide what they want to offer their fans. So those options could be dynamic. They're not necessarily I mean, I remember as a child, my father bought me a one share of um, this Boston Celtics okay. when they were about to go under. And, and also, then I remember Disney. We bought, he bought me a share of Disney. And th I still have them, the one share. Um, but you can't really do anything with them. You're telling me, basically, those shares are now dynamic if they were issued as a token. And it could be updated with other features. Basically, that's exactly what you can do. I mean, you just put an app on your phone, you load your wallet balance or your token balance, and then um, the club then can decide, okay, uh, if a user has at least 100 tokens, he get access to event X. Um, you might get discounts, as I said. Um, you can also do like live Q&As where only token holders can ask questions and everybody else is only allowed to listen in. Um, so basically there, it kind of depends on what the club wants to do and also what they can offer with the existing infra infrastructure that they have. Um, because, for example, ticketing is something where they usually have um, contractual obligations with ticket, uh, ticketing providers. So there you always need to uh, do it on a case-by-case -case basis. But generally, that's the idea. Do fundraising and at the same time um, offer them tools. So adoption-wise, how far along are you in the, in, in the development cycle? Uh, on the developer side of things, we have basically everything in the draw that we need. We know who we're going to work with. Um, we, have, uh, we have a pretty solid plan for that. Right now, we're waiting for, for a first client. Um, the sales process with football clubs right now is, is more of a consulting project because when you tell them about security tokens, then they're going to ask you, like, at security what? So you really have to take them by the hand and lead them through what this is that they, that they should offer. And it's not like you can just tell them, hey, we offer tokenization. They're like, yes, I'm buy you, I'll buy your product. Um, but we're really confident that we can sign with the first client in 2020, talking to several clubs right now. And all of them are super interested. But when you talk to the CEO, then he has, get, has to be, get back to his legal team, to his financial team, to the marketing division. So, oh, You know what? That, that's, that's the whole gig with the security tokens these days, right? Yeah. And at least, I mean, what we're really happy about is that Germany is a really uh, pretty straightforward jurisdiction when it comes to security tokens. Mm -hmm. In 2019, we had uh, four STOs that were approved by the BaFin. And um, so by now, it's pretty clear how you need to structure the security token sale in order to be compliant. And um, yeah, we benefit immensely from those pioneers that, uh, that launched the first ones. You know, I got a buddy of mine who has a, a crypto fund in, in, in Frankfurt, Blockwall. I don't know if you've crossed paths with them. Uh, I know Blockwall. Yeah. You know, uh, my buddy Dominic, he, I, you should meet him. You guys are probably in the same, the same area. But um, so if anybody wants to know a little bit more about how to get involved with this, I think it's a terrific idea. We've, we've, we've interviewed a number of people in the blockchain and crypto space. Um, we mainly, when we do, is mainly enterprise level. Um, but you're doing enterprise level integration and adoption. Um, how do people get involved with this if they want to get involved? Well, uh, the best would be to follow us on Twitter. Uh, we write, I would, I would call it quality content. Uh, everybody can make up their own mind about it. Uh, we have a blog on Medium, um, and Twitter is the medium we use most for communication. I mean, we do have a LinkedIn, but Twitter is where it's at. Twitter is where it's at. Perspective. Yes. So, yeah. It gets out there pretty quick on Twitter. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, Jonah, um, I know you got to go. I'm going to ask you one more question, then we're going to cut to commercial break, and we're probably we're wrapping up for the day here at Caspian Week. Sure. Um, what can we expect next from uh, Liquidity Team in the next, let's say, one year, three years? 
Well, one year I hope we can announce our first client. That would be the that would be the ultimate goal. And I think once this gains traction and once other clubs see what you can do, and I mean this is assuming that the first project is successful, which I which I'm quite confident in. Um, I think there will be more clients interested, also from the broader European market. And I mean, the Spencer Dinwiddie case that just launched his uh, security token, the NBA player Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, he just tokenized 40% of his co three year contract uh, starting the 13th of January. So basically, that's a use case that we can point at right now and tell guys, hey, this is not just fantasy, people are doing it. And so let's move this to the European market. Uh, fantasy and football are a big thing in the United States, so that's a, that's good keywords to put together. <laughs> Listen, Jonah, thanks so much for coming hey, on. Thanks for having me. Uh, Jonah Rubel, he's the co-founder of Liquidity Team, fan engagement and uh, um, a fundraising. fundraising for sports. It's wonderful. Listen, thanks for coming on.